Hey, it's Mr. Random Pop Culture. News for Gray King, Mr. And we're bringing you guys a restaurant to George's channel. Follow me on my social media, such as Twitter, Instagram, X. All the links to the description box down below to the hashtags. And of course, as always, they have all symbols down in the description box below if you want to check them out yourself. Only two new internet pop cultural news topics of news discussion I'm going to talk about at the end of the video. I know I don't really want to react to these ones, but I love, I think, shout out to my dude, Man Myth the Legend, Gore the Movie Guy. I know he did a reaction to it, so all credit goes to him. This is another one that's from one year ago. The other one was almost three years old, but I wanted to get to one of the more recent ones. And the same people that made Ghost Data, so I'm probably going to get a copyright claim for this. So three, two, one, let's go. I don't care. This is good anyway. Don't touch me, it looks this like a... It looks nice. Well, this is the same one, I guess. I don't know. Ah, oh, okay. Nice. Right, so this is the same thing. Oh, this is the same one I've been doing in the past. I didn't know. This is just the reading. The video is called Cross. Bubble. I wonder if this is from Studio Dynamics. No, I'm not. Oh, it's nice. I just don't want to be touched. Get your hands off me. <laughs> oh, man, that's so cringe. Oh, shit, okay. Nice. I just don't want to oh, be touched. Oh, my God. I know that was... Well, that's nice. I'll see you in the next one. We're going to check. Okay, so this is the one here. This is the one I was talking about. This is the one from Ghost Data. Animated music. Oh, it's from three years ago. I thought it was two. What? Ghost Data Nico Pop. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Moki Lop or Mocha Lop. So I'm probably going to get a claim big time. Hopefully I don't get a community guideline strike. Because if I do, I'm going to have to go on my other two backup channels. And I don't want to end up like, I know I didn't even talk about the news drama. But I heard from also a week ago. MXR Plays, they got their whole channels gone. They're permanently banned. Their IP address address is just gone forever. So this is some scary shit. I hope and pray to God that doesn't happen to me. <laughs> and I got like five, six other accounts. But the main two I use is this one and my backup one. So hopefully I don't get a claim. But I know how South Korea is and Japan. They were really strict on that stuff. So if you don't hear any any comments here from me talking, you know the video got claimed. But I don't care. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. This has to be another one. Is this the same one or not? No, this is something else. No, this isn't even the same one. This is another one. Hold on. I had to find where the other original video was. Uh, I'm having a hard time finding that little bastard. I'm trying to figure out which one was it. No, it wasn't any of this. I'm trying to figure out which freaking music video was it. And now I ain't that one, the Project Melody one. Because <laughs> if it was, I would have found it by now. I'm trying to figure out which fucking one was it, man. I'll see you guys in a quick second. Alright, so I found the real one. This one's from the same thing, almost 13 million views. It says, warning. Oh, there's going to be a lot of view discussions of live shit in this so This is going to be insane. This is the real one. I love the freaking animation style, but it's like, this reminds me so much of Cyberpunk 2077, like Edge Runners. Cyberpunk Edge Runners, if any guys remember that from 2021, 2022, that's the art
too. I'm surprised I missed this shit a while ago. Thoughts, views, opinions, speculation. Yeah, it reminds me of this one right here. One's called High Society New Drugs. And yeah, thoughts and opinions is not really much to say. My God. There was so much. So many things I could say about this. I swear I could. I'm trying to make this as bright as I can, but it's dying on me badly. Yeah, as far as everything else goes, it looks crazy good. I'm feeling it. I'm enjoying it. It has a really old school Cyberpunk 2077. Even though Cyberpunk 2019, 2020, it makes me feel so much. That old school, late 2000s or 2010s. MySpace, Facebook, Instagram era, or old school Twitter era. Everyone was playing old school, like fast, dubstep, really, really quick drum and bass, club, hardcore, techno, trance, super, super, like grime, fast beat, like DJ music, which I'm probably gonna get community guidelines strike. I hope I don't get striked with it. I get claimed, I don't care, but it is what it is, because this shit looks freaking nice. Absolute badass. My jaw is like halfway, like open half the time. I guess I'm trying to be a pervert or any of that shit, but dang. It had to be Kyanax Studios that made this thing. Because this shit looks cool. So, it's really up. So, um, let's talk about the two um, internet site news I want to talk about. So, unfortunately, I got bad news because this shit's really fucking sad. Um, fortunately, Game Informer, just literally six days ago, almost a week ago, the magazine is shut down. It's from um, Wonderfly from Anime Superhero. So, I'm going to read just a little bit of it. Game Informers announced it's closing after 33 years of business, launching in 1991. I was literally a baby and Doug was like two when that they started. Wow. The magazines maintain a place for a legacy, putting together some of the most disgusting, disgusting interviews, influential preview covers, and some of the most impressive looking magazines ever. Beginning as a magazine distributor by retailer, gaming retailers, Funko Land, GameStop bought the company. I absorbed Game Informer in 2000. By the time of the 2010s, the magazine was recognized as the fifth largest in the United States, beginning on the giants from Time Magazine Sports Illustrated. I didn't know they were that huge. Readers especially enjoy Game Informer for its most exclusive details about upcoming games. So this is an end of a legend. End of a legend. I used to love next to old school Nintendo Power and Game Rants. And what else besides Game Rants? <clears throat> Wasn't just Game Informer. There was another magazine that did this all the time. Wasn't GameSpot or IGN either. I think it was Game Power Plus or Games Chronicles. It was either Games Chronicles magazine or it was another magazine they used to do that. Sony PlayStation Plus magazine and Xbox magazine. I used to read that a shit ton. Back when I was in middle school and high school, I read that every single week. I used to have to go to the grocery store, to Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot with my mom and my dad at that time. I was still living with my parents at that time. I used to go to the magazine rack every single week and read those bad boys, see what was going on with Xbox and Xbox 360 and GameCube, Wii, Wii U, and the PS1, PS2, PS3, and a little bit of the PS4, but not that much. So rest in peace. Hopefully it's in a better place. I pray they do something about it because it looks cool. Anyways, um, get to the other one. This one's a real sad one here, man. So this comes from Japanese News Times. Got a credit card is due from... Um, I guess this is just Japan. I don't know. Kathleen Mazoga, Francis Tang, and Karen Kenkano. So there's a magnitude 7.1 earthquake struck off the coast of Miyazaki Prefecture. Prefecture on Thursday, initially prompting tsunami advisory for parts of the coast of Kishu. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Kishu, yeah, Kishu. And Shukoka. But a meteorological agency of issues alert the warnings at a further possible mega quake. Dang. Long Nakai throughout the area in the east coast of Japan for the first time. So, yeah, scary tsunami hurricane advisor is gonna happen. So, it happened already. I pray not to God, no tsunami or any of my Japanese people are living out there. Please take damn good care of yourselves because this is a very, very super scary, fucked up place. When Japan gets earthquakes, it's probably the most scariest fucking thing I've ever seen. Just to happen January 3rd or 4th. When one of those airplanes like almost crashed into the pit of the runway and it was on fire. Remember, that was earlier this year, January 3rd or the 4th. So uh, I pray not that many deaths or casualties happen because it sucks if it did. And that's it. That's all I say from the monitor. Peace out, my sauerkraut, ladies and mice. You can flip side, take it easy, stay safe, stay on. I'll talk to you guys soon. Goodbye. Sex your um, super cautious, everyone. Take it easy. Talk to you guys soon. Laters. I'm out of here. See you next time.